Stacey, welcome. How can capital best advance climate action? Yeah, so climate change is here. It's happening today, um, and it affects all types of capital. And it doesn't matter whether you're a banker, whether you're in private equity, whether you're in listed equities, whether you are a pension fund or an institutional investor. And the fact that we've locked in enough warming to already start seeing the effects of climate change means that it is an issue that capital needs to address today. So from that perspective, it's actually something that one should, no matter what kind of investment you do, one should start to integrate climate into the ways that you identify, assess, quantify um, different types of risks in your investments, and then from there, use that to inform how you make your investments. So I guess more needs to be done by the industry. Is that fair? But what, how do you mobilize them behind this? It's a really important point. One of the things that I think needs to be done uh, among all capital actors is building the capacity to understand how climate change is a financial risk. Some investors are doing that already. Um, you see a lot of climate-related investors uh, popping up, and you see a lot of mainstream investors starting to do more climate investments. So they're building the teams and the capacity internally to start making and crosswalking those climate-related financial risks into how they um, price and size and identify the opportunity set. Uh, but this has to happen across all sectors in the, in the financial sector um, and across all different types of actors. What do you look for in a climate startup when you're making your investment decisions? Yeah, so our firm, Resilient Earth, Earth Capital, is an angel investment firm. So we invest in very small companies at their early stage. But we're looking for entrepreneurs who are really trying to solve the climate crisis um, at a very specific micro level, because there's not one company that's going to solve it all. Uh, we are sector agnostic. Uh, we've invested in water technology. We've invested in regenerative agriculture and the fashion industry. We believe that climate addressing climate change is something that happens across all sectors and all industries. We look for entrepreneurs who are uh, developing something that has robust revenue potential um, and also growth potential. So uh, we're looking for those three things. It sounds like product, yes, if they have a product, yeah. but also people. People is really important. Absolutely. Uh, founders who are mission-driven um, around this um, and have a solution are, are definitely um, uh, folks that we like to engage with. We also think the execution um, capability is really important. There's a lot of good technical ideas out there, but uh, sometimes engineers are not the best at building businesses, although some of them are very much the best at building businesses. But we're looking for kind of a holistic approach to how to build a business and how to grow a business um, that's going to be additive to, the, um, to addressing climate change. What advice would you give to the next generation of climate leaders who really want to make an impact in this space? Absolutely. Uh, one of the things that I do in my um, free time, I teach uh, a university class at a business school. And I tell my students, um, regardless of which sector you're getting into and what you're going to do as your job, everybody has a role to play in addressing climate change. We need bankers. We need accountants. We need uh, people who are building companies. We need marketing people and communications people. We need operations people. There is no job out there of the future that is not going to have a climate um, a angle to it. And all of the young people who are coming into the workforce today um, are well suited to help address that issue. Stacey, thank you so much for your time. Thank you. Thank you.